Welcome to our Angular Insights video. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with directives. Our viewer is trying to set an input alias in a directive, but they're running into a TypeScript lint warning. Let's dive into the details and see what's going on. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answers, and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. Let's address the issue of binding to an input alias in Angular. You have defined an input property with an alias using the at input decorator. However, TypeScript is warning you that renaming directive input properties is not recommended. This is because it can lead to confusion and make your code less maintainable. In your directive, you are using the selector app avatar color. This means that when you use this directive in your templates, you should bind to the original property name. To resolve this warning, you should keep the input property name consistent with the selector. Instead of renaming it, use the original property name directly. By following this practice, your code will be clearer and more aligned with Angular's conventions, reducing the likelihood of confusion for other developers. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To bind to an input alias in Angular, you should rename your input property. Instead of using the directive name, use a different name like avatar color. This allows for a clearer and simpler binding. For example, change input app avatar color to avatar color and then simplify it to just at input avatar color. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. To bind to an input alias in Angular, you should declare your input property using the at input decorator. For example, use at input app avatar color to create an alias for your input. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In the latest Angular version, TSLint has been replaced by ESLint. To bind to an input alias, you need to update the rules in your eslinars.json file. Here's an example of how to set the rule. You can allow specific names by adding them to the configuration. And that's it, guys. I hope we've gone through and found the answer that you're looking for. And look, if we did find that answer in your resolution, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time you need technical videos, I hope you have a good one.